What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and take a quick eye for you in Baldur's Gate 3 on whether you should evolve or not. Now if you've just stumbled on this video and you don't know what it is, leave now, do not watch the rest of this, it's going to spoil things for you, so just turn off now, alright, you should have stopped listening by now, it should be good. Um, this is for the story point where you just finished Baldur's, you just got to Baldur's Gate, you encounter the Mind Flayer in the, in the special realm place, and then you're given the choice of whether or not you should evolve. Now if you evolve, you are given access to the final tier of Illithid powers, or at least the final tier we can see. You can see them here on the screen. There are some very, very strong powers in here. Um, again, I, I don't want to go into full much detail because it, it really does ruin the story, but there is, there is, this does affect the story, you know, whether how far you go into the Illithid tree and how far you do not. It does have an impact on the story. I really can't say a lot without ruining it, but at the same time, it's a guide. So just, you know, make your choice here. If you're going to go in with it, go in with it. So what I've done is I've gone to the ones you can see here and I've decided not to evolve. I just did this for the video. So I'm going to go down the normal route. Um, I'm going to see if Johnny goes down the other route and we'll hopefully, by the time you guys get out to this point, we'll have more of the information ready for you in the comments down below. So do check the pinned comment. Once we've got some more information, we'll put it there. But as it is right now, you just get a bunch of new really cool abilities. Hey guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what we need to get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.